All right, so I told you guys at the end of year two that I'm starting year three like I never have before. And I am honestly, it's crazy because I definitely put this at my January. I didn't make a vision board, but I made a list of the things that I wanted to accomplish this year and working with a company was one of them. So I am beyond pumped to be able to say that I have a new friend called Magic Mind. I have always been a huge coffee person and I really have been trying to find a way to keep my energy levels steady throughout the day and regular coffee by itself was making me get the shakes. I would crash midday. It it just really wasn't good. So a few months back, I found this little, this little cute shot. It's this little matcha shot and I know some of you really do love matcha. So the fact that raising serotonin and magic mind are working together we really we really love that that's that's huge for you guys i started drinking these shots in the morning before i drink half caffeinated coffee and it makes me calm not jittery at all and it's crazy i've never never thought about it and yes now i drink half calf because of this shot when i was only drinking regular coffee before i even had regular coffee the other day and i could feel the difference in my body between having magic mind with regular coffee and having magic mind with half calf it's crazy and I love that I can stay focused and centered during my morning routine because you know how much my morning routine means to me and it even lasts throughout my work day and it's filled with matcha and adaptogens and lion's mane mushroom and other mushrooms so if you are looking to prevent crash or reduce your coffee intake even a little bit then this this little drink this magic mind is the way the way to shift to. It helps with productivity and creativity, which then helps me with my entire day of work because I'm constantly creating content and talking to people all day long. So you guys know I'm really big about consistency. So I needed to know that if I stayed consistent with this, with drinking this, just like I'm consistent with everything else, what was going to happen? And it gave me the results that it says it was going to give me. So you can make this into whatever you want. You can make it into a hot latte, a cold latte. You can just drink it straight. My mom even drinks it straight and she says the same thing. She has been drinking less coffee. She is a school nurse. And ever since drinking Magic Mind, she is way more calm and she feels more productive at work. So calm and productive for mom, productive, creative, and calm for me. You love to hear that. I love to feel it. So staying consistent with Magic Mind for three to seven days and you'll feel the difference from when you're drinking straight coffee all the time. So big, big, big hype for you guys. I have a 20% off code to share with you guys. It's serotonin20, which is S-E-R-O-T-O-N-I-N-2-0. And make sure you spell that right. And to use it, you can go to magicmind.co slash serotonin. Again, that's S-E-R-O-T-O-N-I-N. And enter the code serotonin20 at checkout. And honestly, the best part about it is they have a money back guarantee. And if you get the subscription, it's 40% off. What is up, guys? Welcome back for another Thursday of Raising Serotonin. Happy December 1st. That's cool. We love that. We love that. It's the last month of 2022. It really doesn't feel like it. all the months kind of mushed together. But we made it. I'm so proud of us. Really, like I'm actually really, really proud of us because I know some of us went through some tough shit this year. Stuff, sorry. I'm just really glad that we stayed consistent and continue to put ourselves first. And I know that you do that because you're here. You're listening to this podcast. And I love you for that, by the way. Don't forget it. And since it is December, we are actually going to get prepared for the rest of the holiday season. Do you guys even like Thanksgiving? I mean, like, the idea behind it isn't very Thanksgiving-y, but here we are, still doing it later. 
years later so i don't know do you guys like it i hope you ate some good food that's really all that matters right regardless of whatever holiday you do celebrate during this season i want you to be prepared in all aspects i want you to continue the holiday season with your cup full nothing less than that hands down the best way that we can shine just a little bit brighter this holiday season is by prioritizing ourselves we have had enough months of the year especially especially this year that feel or felt draining the holiday season is not supposed to feel miserable it's supposed to actually be a good time and supposed to be filled with light. Even if you aren't celebrating anything, this last month of the year does not need to be filled with anything other than light. It doesn't need to feel like a waste of a month. This month is huge to be able to get yourself on track for 2023. I actually have seen a lot of posts on Instagram that are, oh, you can just rest this last month of the year like you did enough all year like yeah that's 100 percent true and that's fine and we can rest rest is still prioritizing yourself and setting yourself up for success but you're not resting to give up we don't give up here we readjust we reposition we are still successful even when we're resting and I just thought of Shanda for a second and she she always says how she is rich and not poor. She's like, I'm rich, I'm rich because we speak that into existence. We don't want to struggle with money ever. It's not like, oh, I'm rich and I have all this money. No, I just don't want to struggle with it. I don't want to have to worry about that. So everything that we do, we are setting ourselves up for success. We're setting ourselves up for happiness and the future that we deserve, the future that you envision for yourself. You deserve that and you are going to speak that into existence you're gonna put that into work I know you are and since it is December 1st I have an idea why not actually take the time to schedule the joy that you want in your life especially for this month specifically for this month there are a lot of holiday activities and parties and all the things to do so why don't you prioritize your time and put all of those activities into your calendar or your phone all the things that you want to do so you actually get to do the things that you want to do this month instead of waiting until the last minute or saying yes to everything we are actually going to say no to anything that doesn't serve us and that's actually a given but especially right now do not let anyone make you feel guilty or guilt trip you into doing anything this holiday season. You are allowed to make the decisions that best suit you and you are the only person that you have to please right now. You can't be in multiple places at one time and you are not going to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, you can say, okay, I'm just going to do it because I love them. Like That destroys you. So if it's not serving you, stand up for yourself. You are an adult and you can do that. You are allowed to make those adult decisions. Prioritizing your time with the things that you want to do this season will also make you feel like less of a Grinch. Get it? <laughs> because you have things to look forward to. And yeah, you may have things to look forward to all the time. But during this specific holiday season, like I said, you scheduled in those places and things that you actually want to do that you don't do all the time. You can walk around your neighborhood and look at the lights one night or drive whatever you prefer. Or if you are able to spend some money, you can go ice skating or go through a light show. Something that you don't do any other month or any other season of the year. This is the time to do it, to prioritize it and make it happen. Another way that we can shine this season is to continue to move our body. And you probably could have guessed that that one was coming, but I don't want you to say, oh, like, I'll just wait till January. I'll just start in January. I'll do more in January. No, no. You are going to do this for your mental health more than anything right now. The movement that you do is bringing you serotonin, not laying in bed, scrolling on your phone, watching all the TikToks. I know how easy it is to spend 30 minutes watching TikTok. Like, I've done it. And just think like you could have spent 30 minutes just moving your body and then you can go lay in bed and watch the TikTok. Like you don't have to pick one or the other. It's just going to do both at this point. It will benefit you 
way more to move your body than to not move your body. And even if you don't see the immediate results right now, down the line, it will come and you will thank yourself for not giving up during this season. Because in January, you're going to be like, wow, I actually feel not that bad when you might feel like shit when you go into January if you didn't take care of yourself right now. Then this is my inner health coach in me. Take your heckin' vitamins, okay? I take a pre and probiotic, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and my anxiety medication every day. And I will link the exact vitamins that I take in the show notes. But when I got COVID in June, I had to start taking these. I was like, okay, what the heck am I supposed to do? I need to just make sure that I'm getting all my vitamins in. Like I knew I wasn't. I was, I got smacked in the face with that. Like not good, not good. So ever since then, Ever since June, I have taken vitamin C, D3, and zinc every day because of the health benefits. And I have barely have got sick. I think I got sick like maybe one time and it was like a sore throat. It wasn't anything super crazy. I didn't have a fever or anything like that. So I just, I believe in it. I believe in it really hard. And if you want to take a multivitamin, go ahead, do that, whatever. Just make sure that you are getting your nutrients in. This is going to be really, really important during the winter months in general, but just it will help you. Okay. Like they're not bad things to spend money on. It's better than spending your money on fast food. So vitamins, heart, making the heart heart emoji, the heart hands right now. Okay. My last one that I am going to give you today to help you just shine a little bit brighter is finding a really good book to read at night. And that might sound lame to some of you, but after all the things that you do day in and day out, let's protect our brain. It is way better for your brain and your eyes to be reading something than to scroll on your phone on social media or your laptop or watch endless TV. One, being the blue light is absolutely horrific for you to have before bed. It Fs with your sleep big time. Two, you could be comparing yourself or questioning things or buying things when you shouldn't be all the things that you shouldn't be doing when you go on social media before you go to sleep like that's just you're setting yourself up for failure right there so read a book or listen to a book meditate if you want to do the there's more things to do before bed than just read but what I'm saying is finding a book that you can just like kind of go away in and get lost in for a minute it might even help you start sleeping better you don't have to spend hours on your phone And if reading brings you joy already, that's awesome. So find another book that makes you feel warm on the inside. There are endless books. And if you need a recommendation, I have so many recommendations. So come to me. I can help. There are endless ways for you to be able to shine bright this holiday season. But these are just a few that I'm going to stick with this season and bring you along with me. So you know that you are just as capable as I am if not more capable. And we have to get uncomfy to get comfy, right? Yes, we do. It's how it works. You are not alone because I'm going to be right by your side this holiday season, right by your side always, but especially this holiday season. You are so, so loved. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. You are capable of saying no thank you and doing something that serves you because that's what you're worthy of and you're capable of it. So don't ever forget how loved you are. And if you ever need anything, hit me up in the DMs. I will see you guys soon.